There's Highway 39 up there on the mountain at Ivy. Second falls. <sighs> so I'm going to try to go and continue to fall this creek. Another two, two and a half miles. Try it. I don't know if it's possible, especially in Tennessee. Last time I came here, this was falls all the way across. Now I can go. I don't know, it's loose dirt. I could probably go from there, and there, and there. I can get right up there. Last time I went up that line. There's no way in the world I'm coming down this way. This stuff just crumbles up. It's moss, hardened up. I'm not putting any support on it, I just need to get for guidance. I'm gonna get around this turn here somehow. Put the camera away. So if you come up, I wouldn't suggest that way. Once you get to there, there's no more handholds. It's all loose, slick. You just kinda, you gotta palm that one little divot there and lift your feet off the ground. Tip your body weight forward, and then with your palm, push the stuff forward. Try to get the majority of your weight up here. And then push back slowly. Yeah, if you go over, you're dropping far. Another little falls there. This is not so easy in test shoes. If I get past this yucca, when I get past this yucca, I think if I go over, get around there, I can get the game trail, looks like. But it's going the opposite way of the river. Looks like the river bends though. Whoa! Almost toppled backwards. Looks like the river bends according to that ridge. I can see a ridge up there. I wonder if it goes like this or if it goes through. Sorry for the hand signals, but that's the only way to uh, express what I'm talking about in a situation like this. You got that easily, Ryder? It's the only way. <laughs> Bobby? Don't use the hand signals, Bobby. Damn it, Bobby. I don't see any openings. This one, but this one goes back down. I don't see anything. Looks like the light is there. Those are thorns. <laughs> I'm not going through those. <laughs> Look at those berry things.
You can get through here. Yeah, I can get through here. Whoa! I can go right up that real easy. If I can get down through this and come up on the other side, I can either make my way through there, hit that gulch straight up, or see if I can get through this. Oh, there's a clearance there, but it looks like it did end. There's another one down here going the wrong way. Looks like a, a patio chair over there. Look at that. Let's see. Sun's right in my eyes. Right in there. It's like a patio chair. That's left over from the Depeche Mode video. The world in my eyes, where the king drags that chair and sets it on top of the mountain, looks at the view. <laughs> I can see Catalina out there, Avalon. Way out there. Can't make it at all on the screen. Whoa, look at that tree. Check this out. What a nice spot. Right down to that rock. Get back. That's a lot of work getting down there. Even more getting back up. You can see her on the corner. On the map. The river goes up at a constant one angle. Then towards the end, it curves over this way just a little. Well, right here. The river's starting to curve. I might be near the end. But I don't think there's going to be one spring. Like you always expect the origin. One spring. I don't think there's going to. Because look. There's, there's a trickle in here. And back here there's a trickle. Not to mention the three or four. Down below the falls I saw. I think it's like the east fork. There's no, there's no one hole in the ground where it comes out. It just comes out a little bit at the beginning. But then everything adds to it. I think this is the same way, like the majority of them. If I want to continue, I've got to get up there somehow, maybe over there along that log. I made it up. <laughs> Through there, believe it or not. <laughs> it's just getting thicker and thicker though. And that's a long way to go. I wouldn't make it back by night. And I'm not climbing down those falls at night. I don't see any poison oak up here. I'm pretty far from the water, so I don't see any in this area. There's a lot of thorns. I'm all scratched up. Now, the up, upper trail just fades out, but I caught another one going east, and I believe this might be the one that goes to the other side of that gulch, in which case I don't want that one. I feel like Ray Davies standing in the middle of the road. 
See how many of you know what I'm talking about? Ray Davies, standing in the center. <laughs> Don't know which way to go. <laughs> All that, it was just a false crest. Goes up, goes north about 20 or 30 feet, and climbs again. I've seen enough. Look at how cool these trees grow. Man's need us. Look at the green. The green comes up, swirls, comes around, comes back down. Look at that. It's so neat. I see so many things that can be made out of this. I'm not going to take it down though. Look at that. Bighorn sheep. More tricks. Cocoa puff. You just gotta keep in your brush like this so you don't walk off the edge. Keep sight on a couple trees. You know that tree is right at the edge of the thing. If you start sliding on this stuff, it's hard to stop. Oh, oh, ah. Those hurt. Ah! Wow! Oh, my backpack's hung up. Look at that. I'm gonna take these things off when I get home. These little side ropes. I never use them anyway. I can't believe I made it through there. I made it through that. <laughs> After the day. If you were to ask me what's the most important piece of your gear, I'd say my boots. I just tore my pants because my legs slid. I just tore the crotch of my pants. I did the Van Damme splits. Van Damme. <laughs> I think that was cool. Okay, one more look at the third fall. This one you can hear from up there around the corner. Look at that tree coming right out of the center of the rock. There's two rocks to crack. Now, it flows over here, but it trickles. It used to flow real well. As a matter of fact, it used to come down here and flow down the whole side of the rock. You got Mr. Miyagi's tree growing right there. Daniel Son hasn't been around to prune it in a couple decades.
I picked up a hitchhiker on the way up to Zusa. He's thumbing his way up. There, a prospector guy. He didn't have anything with him. He said he had his stuff stashed. But uh, his name was Daniel. Not Savage, another Daniel. Right in the ear. <laughs> there we are. About another 60 feet and I'm down. That one was easy coming up. Well, not easy, but we're going down. I couldn't see where the ledge was. It's way too slick. If I come up this, I'm going to make my way around, around here somehow. And go down that switchback. Yeah, it does go down right here. It's kind of slick, but if I sit down, it should be okay. I can put my feet on that side. As long as I keep them spinning around, I'll be alright. Yeah, that went better than I had expected. No, no, oh. Yeah, I can get down right here and then drop underneath. I came down there and you get to so far and then you get a drop. And I drop down, look what I dropped right into. Poison oak. Wonderful. But I also dropped myself into the dead end. He came right down that crack. He said crack. Safely back on the ground. So, I was back there, northwest, probably two miles maybe. I probably had about another half mile to a mile. In this canyon, I believe there used to be seven cabins. Seven. Three or four of the foundations are very visible, like this one. And I passed another one back there. Then there are two or three that still have people who live in them or stay in them from time to time. But you'll see remains of where they had water being piped from gravity from up at the uh, falls way back. 
probably in the 20s and 30s, maybe 40s. There's even, probably 40s, maybe even 50s because they're, one of them has cable to it. It looks like it's actually electricity. I'll have to check and see if these cabins down here have electricity. If they do, he's probably just coming right off of them. They're all on the east side. I haven't found any on the west side. Look at this. Already. Poison oak. Already. I'm going to go home and wash it. With Don. By the way, this is a mine. I picked this up and taken it out. As a matter of fact, a friend of mine gave me some prescription strength uh, poison oak scrub he got from the doctor. So I'm going to use the prescri prescription strength and wash it. And then here's another cabin. And then I'm going to go with Don. The Don set on it for a while. And then wash it. Foundation right there. Look at that. That one just collapsed. And down here and up there. Might have been a two story. Look, one. And then that come on. Let's see if I can find any of that hose to show you that hose I was talking about. Piece of the bed spring. I see it all over the place, all over the range. This is black hose. Look, there's a money box. That's a black box from a plane crash. Me, Earhart, black box. I'll leave it for them to find. Ancient alien theorists believe she was actually transported out of the plane prior to the crash. It's all in that black box, guys. Come and get it. Okay, I didn't find the water hose down this far, but there's some more. Uh, it's hard to see, but right against that, let me back up. You see the ripples. See, see the ripples of the steel. See that? It's no water tank. It's pretty hidden. It's smashed by the tree. It's a water tank. And there's a cinder block. Look at that. So there might have been another one up there. And there's some more uh, steel underneath. So there might have been eight, maybe nine cabins back here. Hey buddy, look at how close I am. I'm about three feet. Look at him. How oh, cool, look at him. Wow. He's neat. Look at him just looking at me. I'm gonna get some bread out of my sandwich. There we go, I got some over there, some there. Okay, he'll find it. You don't something else will. It's right there. Oh, there. He's going around back. Yeah. Yeah. There's two of them. There's one in the tree right there. There's one right there. He's going to find it. He was watching it. He's going to be far enough. They'll find it. But, uh, cover coat. But take out any trash you find on route. Matter of fact, gotta go cover coat up there. Um, not today, but cover that graffiti. Another skull. Get a glue in the teeth and clean it up. I'm gonna go find a place to set up my hammock and relax for a couple hours.